Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes. Welcome to the channel. Today's topic is a gross topic. We're going to talk about aliens living in your body, taking over your, the way you think, taking over your health. Yes, we're talking about parasites, bacteria, viruses, worms, yeasts, all these nasty things that that literally can just take over our health. And when I first heard about this stuff, I thought it was a bit far-fetched, right? And then I did some research and I realized, oh, wow, like 90% of the neurotransmitters that our body uses to essentially create our mood, to create how we feel, things like serotonin and dopamine, these things are made in the lower GI, right? They're made with help from the bacteria in our lower GI. And so if your bacteria is incorrect, if it's not diversified properly, if you've got a lot of the bad bacteria, not a lot of the good bacteria, then as an example, right, you could produce less serotonin and you could feel more depressed or you could produce less uh, dopamine and all of a sudden you're not motivated. Yeah, you're, you're feeling lazy, tired, not motivated. So in a sense, you know, these aliens, these intruders, they can literally take over how we act, how we feel. It's pretty scary. And what's even more scary is that 90% of everybody is filled with these guys. They're in there. They're in there like doing the bad work, right? And so we have to get rid of them. And unfortunately, it's all about death, right? We have to destroy these things. We've got to kill them, get them out of the system. And unfortunately, when we do that, we have to be careful because there's collateral damage, right? We go in to kill specific bacteria that's harmful, but a lot of times, like with an antibiotic, we just kill everything and that's unfortunate. Sometimes it's needed, but I find that using herbs is a better approach. They're more selective, right? They don't kill as much good, good stuff when they kill the bad stuff. In particular, there's three products that I use all the time. I like to do a, a cleanse twice a year. I usually do it like in the fall and again in the spring where I just will take a couple of weeks and I'll just take these products and I'll just flush my system, right? I'll just kill all the bad stuff out of my system. And then what I do is when I'm done with that, I'll do a cycle of GI stability, which is human milk oleosaccharides. I speak about these a lot on the channel. They're basically a form of indigestible starch. It's found in mother's milk. It goes through the stomach and into the lower GI where the bacteria live and it feeds them, right? So the good bacteria grow, they overpopulate and they rebuild. And I always do a bottle of GI stability after I do any killing, just as a safeguard, right? To replenish the good because there will be some collateral damage with what we're talking about. Now, how do we pick up these parasites as an example? You know, I mean, we're not living in the dark ages, right? We're not back in London in the Industrial Revolution living in slop and filth. So how do we get them? They're everywhere. I mean, they're in the food we eat. If you're eating meat uh, and fish that's not cooked properly, you can get them. Uh, but they're in, the, they're in the soil. You can pick them up if you do a lot of work outside like landscaping or gardening. Um, they're in the water we drink, okay? They're everywhere. If we have pets, a lot of times the pets will transmit them into us even though we love our pets. You know, the, the pet licking our face and stuff. Easy way to transmit some of these nasties into our system. So we're constantly exposed to them. And I remember I saw Gabrielle Lyon, Dr. Gabrielle Lyon, on a, on a podcast. And she was talking about this. And she was really interested in it. And she said, yeah, like 90% of people have parasites. And I thought, wow, that's gross versus what I thought. But then I, I've known this, right? I've known this for 20 years. Back when I was in school, more than 20 years ago, it was a big topic. And we talked about how to kill, how to kill these things back then, because the only answer the medical community had were drugs. And these drugs had really bad side effects. So what do we use? Well, the first thing on the top of the list is sweet wormwood. And sweet wormwood is the answer for parasites. The key with it is, is you have to have the proper extract. I use a 30 to one extract of sweet wormwood. What that means is that they take eight grams of the plant, right? Eight grams of sweet wormwood. And from that, they extract about 40 milligrams of medicine. That's, that's how it works. So you can see it's a very highly concentrated form of the product. 
and it does the job, right? This is the nuclear bomb. This kills everything. It kills everything. And because it's so potent, we don't want to use it for very long. I use it for like five days. And sometimes I have patients that are really, you know, in, in, just invested, invested with this stuff. Infested, I'm trying to say, not invested. They could be invested, but infested with this stuff. Then I'll do 10 days. But I don't normally do more than two weeks because it's so hard on the system, right? This stuff has to go through the liver. And long-term, sweet wormwood is not good for your liver. So again, there's, there's always trade-off in this stuff, right? But five days, I find, is fine. I can handle it. If you're somebody that has problems with your liver, if you're an alcoholic, for example, or something, then you may want to take some liver support as well. But for most people, you're good with five days. You're good with 10 days even. You take the sweet wormwood and you just kill it all. And then when you're done, like I said, take the human milk oil saccharides to heal and replenish. The second product I want to talk about, which doesn't get a lot of attention because people think, oh, well, that's nothing special. It's not as exotic as sweet wormwood, right? And that's garlic. Good old garlic. Garlic is the best way to kill bad bacteria in the body. Period. End of story. Garlic is your bacteria killer. And... Um, and again, you need the proper concentrations. I'm going to put the links in the description of this video so you can purchase the right products. But again, it's all about garlic. Now, garlic is not as harmful as sweet wormwood. We can use garlic long term. When I do a garlic cycle, I typically take it for about three to four weeks. It's also really good for lowering cholesterol and stuff like that. It has a lot of other, other properties. But if we're taking it to kill the bacteria, I like a cycle of about four weeks of garlic. And that will get in there. It will destroy the bad bacteria in my lower GI. And then afterwards, as I said, I will take human milk oleosaccharides, GI stability. And I'll do a cycle of that. It means I'll do like a bottle of that. The final thing I want to talk about, that, that's the final piece of the puzzle, right? We've got the, the worms, the parasites, the bacteria. We're missing a real nasty alien. We're missing viruses. And... When it comes to viruses, there's a lot of research out there that says that a lot of the cancers have a viral component. That's pretty scary. Um, also, we know that, uh, for example, a few years ago, there was a problem with a very specific type of virus, which I'm not going to mention, but I think you know the one I'm talking about. Also, herpes is a nasty virus that a lot of people have problems with, right? You have Epstein-Barr virus. And um, so these viruses are called capsulated viruses or encapsulated viruses, which means that these viruses have this shield around them, this protein layer that protects them, makes them hard to kill, right? But guess what? St. John's wort, St. <laughs> John's wort, this is my liquid version. St. John's wort is the answer for viruses. It breaks down that outer protein layer and lets your immune system get in there and destroy the virus. And it works on all those viruses I just mentioned. It works great. And um, if you suffer from a viral problem, if you have a virus as far as uh, like a, a cold sore, which is herpes, this is the key, right? You, you take the St. John's wart and it will kill it. End of story, right? It kills viruses. Uh, you can take that longer term. Again, you can take that for... Uh, four weeks, eight weeks, right? One to two months of St. John's wort. Sometimes it takes a bit longer. Uh, it's not like sweet wormwood, which is like the, you know, the, the quick kaboom. St. John's wort, you have to use it a little bit longer, but it's great for viral problems. And I'll do those three different products. I'll cycle them twice a year just to keep my body feeling good, to keep my system working, working properly. And as we mentioned, you know, um, if you're doing any of this killing, make sure that you always follow it up with a cycle of GI stability just to help rebuild the natural flora in your system. And uh, as a safety net, if you're somebody that seems to frequently have problems with aliens taking over your body, <laughs> then do something really simple, right? Like get some Zypan, and I'll put the link in the description. Zypan is an acid-based um, digestive enzyme product, right? And you just take a couple of these Zypans uh, just before you go to eat. It increases the acidity of your stomach. That's the first line of defense, right? 
High stomach acidity kills all the nasties before it gets hold in your system, before it gets into your bloodstream. That high acid stomach is going to take care of it. A lot of times people who get um, infested with um, bacteria in their stomach, they get that H. pylori uh, bacteria, which causes acid reflux, causes gastritis, right? That bugger, it just implants itself into the lining of your of your tummy. Hard to kill. Hard to kill with um, with even with medicines, right, from the medical doctor. But guess what? Garlic does the job really good. You just do that high-dose garlic that I'm talking about and you kill it. But guess what also helps? Keeping your stomach acidic. A lot of times people get these problems. They get acid reflux because they don't have enough acid in their stomach. It's a weird thing, right? I've made videos on this. So if you want to safeguard against these things, a few of these Zypan uh pills before your meals keeps the acidity nice and high and then if you've got any aliens right if you've got any nasties living in the food you're ingesting it's going to just kill it kill it in the first kill it in the stomach with the acid before it gets into the bloodstream hope this was useful if it was give me a thumbs up reach out to me directly through my website if you have any other questions free downloads of my books and all that other stuff free consultations thank you for supporting the channel i appreciate it and if you're going to buy the products please use the links Again, I just want to say thanks and uh, stay clean out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>